In this video, I will show you how to automate spreadsheet applications with the Pabli Connect. So before we discuss how we can automate, let us first discuss which spreadsheet applications are actually available in the Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect supports multiple spreadsheet applications. I think you already know about Google Sheets and MS Excel integration. But do you know other than these two applications, Pabli Connect support Airtable, Stackby, Grist, Smartsheet and and Zoho Sheets application as well. So when you have lot of applications integrated inside Pabli Connect, let me show you what exactly you can automate. So either you can send your spreadsheet data to different application or you can save and add different applications data to spreadsheet okay so let me explain you in detail so let's say a new row is added or you can say a new data is added into your spreadsheet application it could be google sheets microsoft excel airtable stack by or anything so you can easily send that data and add it to different application and here those different applications could be anything an email marketing software or a crm application or a task management software so this is the first use case and with this use case you can create lot of application because here you can notice i have mentioned application but that application may replaced with any of the applications that are available inside public connect and the second use case is whenever a new data is added into the application and here the data could be a form response yes whenever a new response is received in a form builder software or whenever a new contact is created into a crm application then automatically collect that data automatically add that data into your favorite spreadsheet application and again that favorite application could be anything so this is how by connecting any application with your favorite spreadsheet application you can automate lot of your task okay so let me take you to the dashboard of pabli connect and show you how these integrations can be created these automations can be created inside Pabli Connect so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and here we will understand the first use case that is sending the spreadsheet data to different application currently I have selected this Google Sheet but in place of Google Sheets you can also select a table spreadsheet okay let me show you you can also select this Grist spreadsheet you can also select Zoho spreadsheet okay so this is how you can select any kind of spreadsheet application and then you can send the spreadsheet data to different application okay and here first Firstly, I'm going to connect this spreadsheet with my Pabli Connect dashboard, okay? So the idea here is I have this spreadsheet in which I have the data of lot of customers and assume that I would like to send this data to different application and this application is actually a MailChimp and email marketing application, okay? So how you can do that? Firstly, you will have to build a connection in this spreadsheet and Pabli Connect. Well, I think you already know how you can connect to Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. But if you are a new user of Pabli Connect, you can visit our channel Pabli because we have created lot of automation tutorials on connecting Google Sheets with the Pabli Connect. Okay, so give me a few seconds and I'm going to capture the data of first row inside this dashboard so i have captured my google sheet spreadsheets data into the public connect let me show you we have the spreadsheet name as all customers data and yes it is the same sheet and we have the phone number a dummy phone number a dummy email address and a dummy customer name this is the data of first row of this spreadsheet and now i am going to send this data to different application okay so let me show you how you can search for the application this is mailchimp let's say you want to send the same data into active campaign or hubspot this is how you can select your favorite applications and send this data to your preferable application in this video i am going to show you how you can send this data to mailchimp okay basically we are taking an example of sending the data to mailchimp let me select the action event that is add a new member with the custom field okay and now i am going to connect mailchimp account with the Pabli connect okay so clicking on add a new connection for connection it is asking for the 
token and the data center which you can visit from this particular documentation and here in this case for connecting mailchimp with the pabli connect it is asking us a token and a data center but let's say in place of mailchimp you are selecting different applications so here let me show you every single application has a different mechanism of connection sometimes you just need to click on this connect button and provide the access of your application account and this is how you will be able to connect your application with the pabli connect very easily so again i am telling you every single application have a different mechanism for the connection okay so let us connect this mailchimp with the pabli connect so now it is asking for the token so how i can get this token i'll have to click on this profile extras and api okay so this is my mailchimp account let me go to my profile section and here i am going to click on this extra section all right okay so this is extra section clicking on api keys and this is how i can actually get the token all right so here you can notice lot of api keys are already created i am going to create a new key in front of you by simply clicking on this create a new token button and let us provide a random name something like api for pabli connect i have provided a shortcut of pabli connect that is pc and here i have the key let me copy the same clicking on done coming back to pabli connect pasting the same here asking for the data center which you can actually get from the url okay so this is the url of mailchimp i am going to copy this data center as per the given instructions pasting the same clicking on save and this is how my mailchimp account will be connected with the pabli connect and here the idea is i am going to create a new member inside mailchimp from my spreadsheet data basically from my google spreadsheets data okay so that is why it is going to ask me lot of options okay so i am going to provide the data only into the important fields like the email address and the interesting thing is i don't need to manually copy this data and paste it here i am going to map this data and if you are an existing user of pabli connect i think you already know okay so let us map the data very quickly that is the email address of the person now it is asking for the name of the person and lastly i am going to provide the phone number of the person okay so i have provided all the details clicking on this button save and send us request and you will notice that in the all contact section the contact will be created automatically here you can notice that response is received let us wait for the response to be received let us wait for that contact to be created and here you can notice the same contact with the same email address with the same name and the same phone number has been created okay so this is how you can send your spreadsheet data different spreadsheet data to different application okay so this is all about the first use case that how you can send the spreadsheet data to different application let's come back to the second use case that is how you can add the different applications data inside your spreadsheet okay so here i have taken the example of jot form and again as i have told you earlier you can send the data of any application to your favorite application okay so i have already connected this jot form with the pabli connect and have captured the form data okay so this was my form that is job application form where it has asked for the first name last name email and phone number let me show you the same data in this trigger application response that is the email address phone number the first name and the last name okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that connection in between jot form application and pabli connect is done okay and now i am going to send this form build application data to different application and in place of google spreadsheet here i am going to send the data into different spreadsheet software so how about we send the same data into a table okay so i have selected the same and now i am going to connect a table with the pabli connect for which i am going to firstly select this action event that is create record and again i am clicking on connect clicking on add new connection and for the connection it is asking for the token so visit this particular documentation okay 
and as i have told you every single application have a slightly different mechanism of the connection you can notice in this a table and mailchimp application both was asking for the both application were asking for the token okay and in case of google spreadsheet and jot form they have actually provided us a webhook url with the help of which we have connected them with the public connect okay so this is the dashboard i am going to create a new token let us provide a random name something like token for pabli connect okay and as soon as i provide the name it will ask me following scopes okay so i am going to select all the important scopes which are actually mentioned into the help text okay and which particular help text let me show you here it is clearly mentioned that you will have to select following scopes okay so i am selecting the same okay all right so i have selected all the scopes asking for the base so again as per the instruction i am going to select this all current and future basis clicking on this create token button and this is how a token will be provided to me which i am going to copy clicking on done coming back to public connect let me paste the same clicking on save and this is how my airtable application will be also connected with the public connect okay so this is how one can connect an application with the public connect and then send the spreadsheet data so here you can notice since we are connected whatever the ids whatever the base ids i have created into the table have started visible here okay so i have created an base with the name okay let me show you form responses okay so i am going to search for the same base that is form responses here you can notice and as soon as i select the base id the table id will be selected automatically okay so what table id we have here let us check we have this lead data okay so here you can notice it has got selected automatically and as soon as i select these two whatever the columns i have whatever the views i have into my a table the same view will be visible into the public connect also let me show you we have the first name last name email and mobile number field and these fields have been fetched from this a table spreadsheet okay so i am going to send the data how remember we have just captured this data and the interesting thing is i am going to map this data so that i can i do not have to manually copy and paste the data mapping is very simple click on this particular field and you will find the above data here in the drop down let me search for the name of the person which was demo okay so here we have the first name asking for the last name let me search for the last name as well that is person asking for the email address let me also search for the email address all right and lastly it is asking for the mobile number let us also map okay i'm sorry i have opened the wrong window let us also map the phone number now as soon as i click on the save and send test request button you will notice that the data of my jot form application will be sent to the spreadsheet and here i have added my data into the a table spreadsheet well two rows were already been added firstly i had to delete this okay no problem i have deleted them now okay and here you can notice it is the same data okay so this is how with the help of pabli connect you can automate lot of spreadsheets application basically you can connect different application either in the action window or in the trigger window of pabli connect and this is how you can automate lot of your task with the pabli connect i hope you have understood that how spreadsheets can be automated with the pabli connect and what number of spreadsheets are actually integrated inside pabli connect's dashboard Not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video